tonight on RBT. Turn the car off. Keep the car off. Keep your hands out the window. Why are you driving today? Because she's pregnant. What's happened to the front? How long has it been like that for? Seriously, mate. You think it's funny, it's not. How many drinks do you have? Thousands. Uh, listen up, Richard. Turn it off, don't touch anything. You're under arrest. I'm awaiting an RBT site. You look drunk, sound drunk, smell drunk. You got a one-way ticket to jail, mate. To cancer 10 for me, please. Highway officers Harkins and Wade are out on patrol in the city's west. Thanks, mate. And out here, they know to always expect the unexpected. <gasps> you need to turn. Turn, 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 turn. They clock a white Subaru involved in a pursuit with them a month ago. Yeah. The driver suddenly pulls in, but deliberately leaves the engine running. Turn the car off. Turn it off, don't touch anything. The owners of the car are known to police, so Sergeant Wade is taking every precaution. Is it off? Keep the car off, keep your hands out the window. Police fear he could take off again at any moment. I've had a pursuit with this car not long ago. Did you oh, know that? No, I didn't know. Who owns the car? It's my mate's missus. Yeah, well, give me a, a name of the owner, because if you can't tell me who, own, who owns it, it leads me to believe it might be stolen. Don't tell me it's stolen. You tell me. It's a busy evening at an RBT site in Roos, and when motorists appear to avoid the line, there's always a pursuit car standing by. So the race is on for police to catch them and find out why. 29-year-old Sifa is on his way from a celebration. Do you have a driver's licence? You don't hold a driver's licence? No, only my wife does. With no licence, he'd better have a pretty good reason for being behind the wheel. Why are you driving today if you don't hold a driver's licence? Oh, she's pregnant. Pardon? Because she's... <laughs> what identification do you have with you? Um, do you have a wallet with ID in it? No, my passport's... Your passport's passport, where? Yeah. Sifa has no licence and no ID on what should be a great day. Because we just got married today and he took that to you. Okay. So you've been married today, have you? Yes. This is a very unfortunate stop for you then at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. OK, have you dealt with police before? No? Never been in trouble with police? Never received tickets? Parking fines. If I could ask you to count one to seven for me, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you. If Seif is avoiding the truth, the honeymoon could be over before it's even begun. OK, Richard, just jump out for me. In the town of Primby, this man's erratic driving attracted the attention of a mobile RBT patrol. He's seen me and reversed back, so I've reversed in to see what he was up to. As I've approached the vehicle and started to speak to him, I could tell that he was extremely intoxicated. He was slurring his words. And incredibly, he was behind the wheel of a car. I was having a run. Can you? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I can outrun. No, you won't outrun. Hey. 36-year-old Richard blew one of the highest roadside readings officers have ever seen. He returned a reading of 0.287 on the roadside, uh, which is extremely high. It's nearly six times the legal limit. Um, it's very rare that we get someone with such a high reading. The fact Richard was even on the road is a frightening reality. And Sergeant Rob Ware is not impressed. Been out tonight. Pardon? Been out? Yeah. Yeah? And if you party in, or just to a club or? A couple. Uh, straight away I can tell 
is well and truly intoxicated. Oh, I had a few beers, crack night, all of a sudden, all your coppers just everywhere. Richard's in danger of talking himself into even deeper trouble. Drug deal across the road there. Staunch he is. He's got heaps of deep. I don't know whether he realised, but I don't think he really cares. We go there, just make some heaps of deep, man. He's gonna pull it out, big bomb. Oof. Just smack it up. Why not? Just be having a great night out. Done the wrong thing. <laughs> How many drinks do you have? Thousands. Thousands? Thousands. What, beer or...? Yep. Leaders with peeps. Richard's not doing himself any favours, and what he's about to admit to police makes it even worse. Thirty-six-year-old Richard blew nearly six times the limit roadside. How many drinks do you have? And he confesses he's no stranger to this reckless behaviour. This is like my fifth, seventh time. As a repeat offender, the writing's on the wall for Richard. <laughs> Richard left his dog waiting in the car. Keisha, yeah, here's my baby Kim. She's beautiful. And police call his girlfriend to come and collect her. Richard, whereabouts is the dog lead in the car, though? I don't think it's Wait, is it in the back? Is it in the back? In the boot or in the glove box? Yeah, in the boot. We don't know. I don't know. Super, okay. Sorry, yeah. Bring me whenever you know what What, uh, jail? Tomorrow, it's in right. water. Richard. I'm not. Richard's girlfriend is clearly at the end of her tether. There you go, just blow it. And right now, Richard would rather be facing the doghouse than a likely stretch in the jailhouse. Stop. Thank you. Have a seat. In Roos, this Nissan appeared to avoid an RBT site. On a high from their wedding day, Sifa and his pregnant bride could be getting off to a rocky start. Now, if I could ask you to count one to seven for me, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you. No! Do you have any registry paperwork with you from your marriage today that'll have your identification on it? No, my parents got it. As Constable Wakefield does some digging, Sifa's predicament finally hits home. What a day. <laughs> it's one of those things. He's uh, done the wrong thing on a day that should have been special and memorable for the right reasons, and unfortunately, not legal, not lawful. With no licence, Sifa's special day is about to become even more memorable. I'd like to say congratulations on your wedding today, and I'm sorry that I'm bearing the bad news to you. OK, but what you've done today is an offence. OK, driving unlicensed. OK, ma'am, are you definitely OK to drive, though? 100%? All right. Oh, struggle's real in Australia. Married life may have started with a hitch, but Sifa is not letting it ruin his day. Next officer. John. 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 Remember that name? I named my son John. <laughs> Go Kiwi! In Mount Druitt, officers took no chances when they spotted a car recently involved in a police pursuit. Turn the car off. Turn it off. Don't touch anything. Is it off? Keep the car off. Keep your hands out the window. The driver, 27-year-old Adam, has no ID and is driving a car known to police. If you can't tell me who owns it, it leads me to believe it might be stolen. Don't tell me it's stolen. Something dodgy about that car, yeah, definitely. 
Count to ten for me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. What I will get you to do is take a seat in the car for me. Police checks confirm that the car isn't stolen, is still registered, but has a chequered history of ownership. As for Adam, his licence is about to trip him up. You haven't got P plates on the car? Oh, OK, you're a P1. Yeah. All right, and you're getting, a, you're getting a ticket for that, and you're getting a ticket for not carrying your driver's licence. One thing's certain, I'm definitely going to run into that car again. Back on patrol, and it doesn't take the officers long to clock another suspect car. If this driver didn't want to attract police attention, he chose the wrong vehicle. What's happened to the front? How long has it been like that for? Three weeks. Have you had an accident? Yeah. Any uh, alcohol today? No, none at all? OK. Let's get you to count to ten for me here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's also um, drug testing as well. Have you had any prohibited drugs recently? Sorry? No, none at all? OK. Just get it right up to the back of your tongue and slide it down. That's the way. There's a torrential downpour in downtown Bankstown. This must have another big batch of around the land we But rain or shine, the highway patrol is on the job crawling the back streets that the drink drivers know so well. Through the rain, they pinpoint a ute. He looks like he's on the juice. He's going to go for that ute. It's my bias. Left, left, left. And then first left. First left, first left, just up here. Just here. Standing in the pouring rain at the end of a driveway is a lone man and his dog. If this man ran for a reason, police want to know why. Is this your residence? No. OK, why did you pull into this driveway? How you going, sir? In Mount Druitt, 18-year-old Matthew's clapped-out car caught the eye of the police. He got the thumbs up for the breathalyzer, but will he get the thumbs down for a drug test? And slide it down. That's the way. OK. All right, I won't keep it too long. Are you going to be a bit honest with me about the cannabis you've had? You have had cannabis? Yeah, yes. Great. At this stage, you're under arrest. Just chuck your cash in there, mate. I'll just tell your mum. Just wait for me. <laughs> Love you. No, oh, that's awesome. I'd feel bad if I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> you feel bad if you didn't say it. <laughs> How long you been going out with her for? Oh, a year and a bit. A year and a bit. <laughs> and when did you smoke last, champ? How many you had? Eight or something. Eight. Eight. Eight cones. With eight cones under his belt, Matthew's feeling pretty laid back about his second drug test. Just wipe it around inside your cheeks, under your tongue. I'll let you know when it's ready to go. That part. Yep. 
I see him fell over already. So Matthew, unfortunately today your sound has come up with an invalid return. So we have to treat that as a negative today. Okay, but your sample still goes off to the lab. I think sometimes the technology may let you down. What do you reckon the lab results are going to be? Positive? I am all sweet, bro. The first two drug tests are indicators, so police are confident the final lab test will return a positive result. And there's no way they're letting Matthew get back behind the wheel. You're receiving a defect for your car. Okay, mainly relates to the damage on your car. Seriously, mate, you think it's funny, it's not. I'm telling you, now it's gonna go positive back at the lab. If it doesn't, I'll be very surprised. Okay? All right, let's go. Matthew's off the hook for now, but his fate rests in the lab result. OK, Richard, just jump out for me. 36-year-old Richard blew almost six times the legal limit roadside. This is like my fifth, seventh time. And Sergeant Rob Ware is struggling to get Richard to cooperate for his secondary breath test. Now, when we, when we get to this important bit, don't muck around, all right? Richard's convinced he's heading straight for jail. Once you've done this, he's basically out of here. Well, back to Port Kimberley, Joe. Wherever you want. Wherever I want? I want to get hanged. Well, you'll be going home. Yeah. You're not getting locked up. Eh? You're not getting locked up or anything. All I want to do is do a breath test. I'll just give you some paperwork and you read it later. Another big reading, and the courts will definitely throw the book at him. There you go, just blow it until I say stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Stop. Thank you. Have a seat. How do you think you're going to go? You think you go over? No, really good. Think you go over? Hey? You think you go over? How are you? Sorry? How are you? You've returned a reading of 0.207. That's which is pretty huge. Four times the legal limit. Yeah. In New South Wales. Pretty huge. That's huge. Sucks. Bloody hell. I think. With this particular guy, I have no doubt that we've probably saved in his life or somebody else's life. He was incoherent, certainly in no position to be in control of a motor car, and I have absolutely no sympathy for him whatsoever and zero tolerance. On a wet night in suburban Sydney, this man led police on a chase through the back streets of Bankstown. Is this your residence? No. No. OK, why did you pull into this driveway? Just panicked? Yeah, a bit, yeah. OK, no drivers. Or have you had any alcohol tonight? Yes. And you're a people like driver, is that correct? Yes. Yep. 24-year-old Stephen says he's had two bourbons, the last one just 45 minutes ago. All right, what I'm going to get you to do is one long continuous breath into this device until I tell you to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and stop there. If he doesn't blow zero, it's the end of the line for Stephen and his dog, Jess. OK, Stephen, mate, at this point, you are under arrest for the purpose of a breath analysis. You're going to be taken back to Bankstown Police Station. Do you have someone that can take your dog? No? We can't take it with us. Yeah. Are you happy to leave the dog in the car for an hour? Will it be right? Uh, we've just had to put the dog in the car with some water. It's quite cool. We've got the windows down a bit for him to have fresh air. It's pretty thirsty. Jet's not thrilled at being left behind, but at least police make sure he's safe and dry. Just have a seat there. For Stephen, it's a nervous trip to Bankstown Station. Have you lost your licence before? Yeah. What'd you lose your license before for? Drink driving. When was that? Uh, After having admitted to a previous drink driving charge, for Stephen, tonight is a repeat performance. This so is the last time you got done for was for mid-range drink driving. No peas and speeding as well. But man, didn't, did you not learn the first time? 
Your job is full time? No, casual. Casual? Yeah. Is it a trade you got? Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least you've always got that to fall back on. Yeah. So life's not always bad, is it? I need you to take one deep breath, blow continuously into there until I tell you to stop. What could make Stephen's life better now is a zero reading. Keep going, keep going. That's it. So you obviously know what your limit is. Zero. Whose dog's that? Yours? Did that jump out of the car? Yeah. In the back streets of Bankstown, P played as Stephen panicked, knowing he was over his zero alcohol limit. Then he had to leave his best mate, Jet, locked in the car while he undergoes secondary testing. So have you had him long? Yeah, since he's born. Because of me, So he's certainly your best mate. One of the only ones left. You're still getting all of your parents, mate? Yeah. yeah. So you obviously know what your limit is? Yeah. Zero? Yeah. Just stand up for us. What I need you to do is I need you to take one deep breath, blow continuously into there until I tell you to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. This instrument has analysed a sample of your breath and returned a reading of 0.037 grams of alcohol in 210 litres of breath. Got anything to say about that? Nothing I've already said. As a pea plater, Stephen's licence is suspended on the spot, but right now he's got other things on his mind. I think he knew what was coming because he's been done before last year, so I think you can see the writing on the wall. Stephen was convicted of special range drink driving. He was disqualified from driving for six months and fined $600. Richard was convicted of high-range drink driving and sentenced to 12 months jail. He was disqualified from driving for three years. Matthew's laboratory test returned a positive result for cannabis. He was disqualified from driving for three months and fined $300. Sifu was found guilty of driving without a licence and fined $350. Adam was fined $346 for not displaying P-plates and not carrying a licence. 